What's going on everybody? Redneck Cook. We got something real cool tonight. We're gonna to do orzo with shrimp, feta, and lemon. Got a buddy of mine, Brett Grimes. He actually wanted a new recipe to do something different with his shrimp and lemon Alfredo that he makes. So he gave me a buzz. He said, hey, you got something different? I got you, Brett. Let's see what we got going on for tonight. Large shrimp, one and a half pounds. Black Kamala olives. One onion chopped up fine. Two cups of orzo, lemon zest, salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Got the chicken broth heating up. All right. Some of y'all want to know what is orzo. Um, orzo is a, actually a type of pasta. Um, you might not realize that you know it because it's a lot of it is in rice aroni. It's the stuff that doesn't taste like rice, but it kind of tastes like pasta. That's what it is. So we're going to use it tonight. We're going to do it. It's going to be real good. Promise you on that. Stay tuned. First things first, we gotta get the shrimp ready. The salt and the pepper and the lemon zest. We're all gonna go in her. Come on. <laughs> okay. Everybody mixed around real nice. He is gonna sit in the refrigerator till we get ready to use. So he is slightly marinating. All right, let's get him put in there. All right, we got her slightly smoking. We got her ready to go. About to do some onions. It's gonna be five minutes. You know, onions are about ready to rock and roll. Two cloves minced garlic. We get that about 30 seconds. Just warm enough before it starts getting fragrant without burning. Once it gets a little bit, starts on the burning side, it gets a real bitter taste to it. Get the oils there ready to rock and roll. He's sitting over there on standby. Remember, if anybody has any ideas or wants something different, has suggestions, or needs some help with something, you're always welcome to drop a comment or to always go to my Facebook page, it's Cooking with Philip, and it's the one that's got my ugly mug on. Orzo. Now what we're doing here, let me get y'all. Is what we're gonna do is whisk him around, around real good and get him coated in oil. It's the same technique as when you're doing rice like this, called blasting. Basically, we're going to toast it. We're going to get him down for about five minutes and get that real pretty gold look on him. And then we're going to go with the next step in the process. Y'all sit tight. Five minutes is up. You see it's got that nice toasted flavor to it. It's going to be real good. Okay. Now, next fun part. Sorry about that. Orzo cooks the same as like what rice does, two to one ratio, or at least with this recipe. So, got two cups of chicken broth. And two cups of water, okay? He's gonna boil for six minutes. What it's gonna do is gonna puff up like rice does. I know it's kind of a weird thing, it's like, it's, Looks like pasta. It tastes like pasta, but you cook it like rice. So we're gonna get that rock and roll. We're gonna cover it, let them boil. We'll see y'all here in just a minute. That's okay. Most of the water is gone and everything, but that is normal. It's gonna have a little bit more because we got a little bit more to go. Time for the olives.
Bloom Juice and the first quarter cup of feta. Just feta make everything better. Not really. No, that's kind of corny. Get him mixed in like so. Put him down below. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take a scrimp at a time. Yeah. They're looking good now. Put them all together. Get it in there looking nice. It's a heat. Cover it before we do. That's the way she's looking at the moment. Boom. Got them on low. Another five. Almost ready. That is the finished product right there. Here we go. Orzo with shrimp, lemon, Feta and olives. We've made this quite a few times, so it's not a complete new one. Mm 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 mm. That's what I'm talking about. And another bite. Yes, sir. That's good stuff right there. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all hit me up. See y'all later.